If you think the Netherlands coach is bad, you do not know who Mikel Arteta is, safe. I had to put this squad together to make it as accurate as possible to the real life version, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, they're actually very average, I'll be real. Like, if you're from the Netherlands, you have to admit that this is an average squad, bruv. Like, what was you expecting? I can't lie, I know the manager's shit. I know the manager's shit, yeah. But still, bruv, this squad is kind of average. But yeah, let's get into the play ratings. Shout out Free Donny. Yeah, shout out Free Donny, his idea for the um, Netherlands play ratings. So yeah, um, let's get straight into it. So, all right, first we've got my like Martin Stelkenberg, bruv. Now, um, I saw this guy starting. See, now, if there was an injury and he was starting ahead of someone, that is disgraceful, bruv, because man is 37, old enough to be my father starting for Netherlands bruv I can't believe it like look at his pivot yeah for a goalkeeper 12 reflexes 12 agility and 13 one and ones if that's not bang average I don't know what is obviously I have to allow the guy because he's flipping 37 like man's literally one ligament away from a career and an injury one ligament away from osteoporosis there's one ligament that's holding him together right now bruv and I'm not even lying bruv man is one ligament away but anyway um Obviously, mentally, it will be like the best because of how how long he's actually played a game of football. But yeah, I don't know how man's starting. If it's not injury, like you man, let me know. If it's not injuries, how is this guy starting in goal? I have no clue. Let's move on. And next, we've got flipping Tim Krul from Norwich, bruv. I mean, he's 32. I'm expecting at least this guy to start. Like, out of the three goalkeepers that they selected, yeah. I think he's probably the best one. Like, I'll be real, yeah. 16 reflexes is good for agility. You can't control. And 15 one on one. So that's actually a decent goalkeeping pivot. That's much better. Um, He's got very good composure. Kicking his 13, passing his 9. He could probably do a sweeper keeper supporting. But personally, I'll make him goalkeeper defend. As I always do. And it, like, as I always do, I'll make him goalkeeper defend still. But yeah, um, overall, man, like Tim. He, out of the three goalkeepers, is the best one. So, um, man's at Norwich. I know, I know they just got promoted, but still, like, bruv, man's a Norwich goalkeeper who's the best for the country. It's mad, bruv. Like, where's Sillison? Is he injured, bruv? Like, well, what, what, what about all of the other, like, goalkeepers from the Nevins? Are they injured or something? I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, man, like, Tim Krul, um, it's, it's mad, bruv. Let's move. See, now, this guy would actually be a good backup goalkeeper. Like, I would have obviously, obviously started him ahead of flipping Stedkenberg, whatever his name is, bruv. I would have obviously done that. But yeah, um, he is 29, 15 reflexes, 13 agility and 31. one. I didn't even say his name. His name is Marco Bizot, bruv. He's, he's actually like decent. I'll be he's averaging about 12 and 13 across the whole card, which is really good. So yeah, he's a backup goalkeeper. Man's got 19 punching tendency. Man should be a boxer instead. And I can't lie, he should, no, he shouldn't. He's actually decent as a footballer, so I can't lie. But yeah, man like Marco Bizot, he's a good player and he'll be a good backup for the Netherlands. Say. All right, next we've got man like Stefan De Fridge, bruv. Now, um, he's an absolute colossal Defender, bruv, like, look at him. Man can literally do anything called upon him as a defender. Like, for that defensive duty, man can literally do anything that you want. Now, he's a ball-playing defender, yeah? 14 technique for engine and 15 passing is a very good pivot. 14 first touch and 16 composure. Under pressure, he's phenomenal. Man's got the anticipation of 18 as well. So, before the ball even drops, he already knows when it's going to actually drop. He knows, bruv. He flipping knows. But, yeah, man, at, um, Stefan De Fridge, bruv, in the defensive side as well. 15 tackling is good, bruv. Um, his positioning is 16 physically. 13 pace over the day and 12 acceleration is just decent for a centre-back, yeah. And he's got 16 strength as well, bruv. So, overall, he's just mad complete. Like, he can literally do anything that you need, bruv. So, yeah, he's, he's rid ridiculous anyway. Man, like, Stefan De Fridge, brilliant defender. All right, next we've got man, like, Matthias De Litt, bruv. I know one thing that's going to be on a lot of you, man, from from Netherlands mind yeah is how he managed to slip and give away a flipping night and how he got sent off in it now man instead of like chesting the ball yeah spins around the ball and slips bruv I don't know how he done it but he managed to do it bruv I can't even explain that into words I can't tell anyone like how he possibly done that but he done it still but yeah um why you would try and stop the ball with your hand I have no clue I don't know if it was intentionally or not but listen I have no clue why he would do that and I've seen it with this guy like in real life and in game yeah he can sometimes be a bit lepsy daisy but the only problem no it's not even a problem the best thing about that is that he's young in it so at least he's young so he can definitely improve that's what makes sense bruv as long as he's young and he can improve is fine at least he's not doing this at 30 years old he's at least 20 or 21 so it's calm but anyway when i get into the stats now matthias delit 
Um, well, you know, he's looking very good. I'll be real. 18 strength, bruv. Like, man's only 20s already, like, body and, like, man double his age. is mad, bruv. But, yeah, 14 technique for everything and, and 14 passing as well. Four pivot is ridiculous, bruv. Man's got 13 first touch and 14 composure. That's ridiculous as well. Me mentally, it's mad. This is what I'm saying. Like, all he needs is a bit more time, bruv. Like, he's got the maddest potential that I've seen, really, for a centre-back. Like, he's just crazy as a defender, bruv. Even he's he's still a wonder kid to this day. Like, he's, he's mad, bruv. You have to respect it still. Um, he's a perfect balance as well. Man can do the ball playing thing and he can win the ball very comfortably as well in the head in the air, bruv. Man's got 15 jump reach and 17 headed. He's very good in game, like in game he's really good. And in real life he's not that bad, but sometimes he has sometimes got a bit of a lapse of you know concentration as you can see mentally it is 13 but obviously um in real life that would improve with time so yeah just give him time if you have any doubts bruv give him time so. all right next we got my like frankie de young bruv now he is so wavy at football it's mad bruv like he's ridiculous at football now this is the thing that confuses me like if you really watch him week in week out then i need to know yeah is this guy a deep playing playmaker or, or is he an advanced playmaker because I don't know what his best position is because I know he can do both very well. Yeah, I know he can pick up the ball and drive through a midfield very, very well. As you can see, man's got a pivot of 16 technique, 18 vision and 16 passing. Like, man can literally, like, see anything. And the dribbling 16, flair 15. Like, he's got the ability to pick up the ball and drive through a midfield. Now, under pressure, like, man's got 16 composure, 17 anticipation, 17 first touch, bruv. Like, and mix that with the 16 dribbling and 15 flay. He's very good in tight spaces as well. So that's what I'm thinking. You see, like, Busquets under pressure is just ridiculous. That like, man's just dribbling and sending man to the shops to get them, like, a I don't even know what to buy, yeah, but listen, man, man's just taking the piss out of man. I think he can do the same thing, man, like Frankie De Jong. If he really wanted him to play deep, yeah, he definitely could, bruv. I, I, def I, I really think he can. He's only 23 as well. It's definitely possible. It is, bruv. But anyway, um, he's even got the traits. Man's got the dictates tempo trait as well, bruv. Like, nah, man, he's definitely made for it. I'll be real. Personally, I'm putting him on deep play and play, make it. sounds mad, yeah. I ain't even done this before, but I'll make an exception today. Safe, like, simple as, man, like Frankie De Jong. Brilliant player, brilliant player. All right, let's go on that Denzel dumb freeze bruv now personally i didn't really know i don't really know too much about this guy like in real life yeah but he's shown his quality i'll be real like man on that right hand side yeah it's like a flipping steam train bruv just running through everyone like i told you man man in this game with 16 strength and above have got a fourth field in real life this guy's got a flipping fourth field he's just running through you can't really do a thing it's mad bruv but yeah um mad mad um, movement like 15 pace 15 strength yeah man's six foot two as well for a right back it's it's a mad combination still going forward he's actually really good that's he scored a banger or something. I swear he scored a goal, at least not even a banger, just a goal, yeah. Very good at heading as well for a right back, bruv. And this is one thing that I keep on hearing, yeah. I keep on hearing that Arsenal are interested because of a couple of good performances in the Euro, um, wherever it is, the Euros, bruv. And I'm like, listen. You men have done this all the time. Stop flipping trying to sign players because of form. You see what happened with Pepe, bruv. Like, I know Pepe is trying to pick up now, but listen, don't sign man on flipping form. It's not smart, bruv. It's not. But anyway, um, when I look at the stats here, 12 technique, 10 vision and 11 passing, he's not really that good. Like um, Under pressure, it's not really looking good defensively. It's not really looking good in game. He's definitely vulnerable. I'll be real. Like he's very big, yeah. Don't get it twisted. He's very big, but I'll probably put him on like a wing back attack. That's what I'll personally do. like. I'll do that still. I'll be real because in terms of like actually defending, yeah, I can't even like I can't really trust this guy. I've told tackling. He's that big. He's definitely vulnerable. But yeah, overall man, like Denzel Dumfries in real life. Hopefully he can pick up what he's doing in like real life, yeah. And in game, um, just put him on wing back attack. See. All right, it's gonna be like Tion Coop Maynes, bro. You get me? Um, my bad about the pronunciations you already know where it is but listen um man is a deep playing playmaker center back cdm or center mid cool um i'm thinking where would i put this guy after looking at the stats 13 technique 13 and 15 passing two under average by one but he's 22 so it's definitely possible to improve them all so that's not that bad 14 first touch is good as well 11 anticipation needs to improve and composure definitely needs to improve as well he makes good decisions but still man you're that deep you're going to be under pressure a lot bruv can't lie he needs to improve that still um 15 work rate, 18 determination, 12 aggression. It's, it's just decent, man. It's just running around, bruv. And overall, he's probably going to be a squad player. I'll be real. Um, Looking at the stats, like, for the Netherlands, he'll be a squad player still. The midfield is too saucy for me. Like, he's definitely a squad player for the Netherlands. So, what did I ever see in this guy? Like, I can't lie. He is his fucking shit, bruv. Like, looking at his stats, yeah, he looks really, really bad. I'm not even going to lie. Man, like, Patrick Van Aanholt, he looks awful, bruv. 
I know what it is. <laughs> it's because it's, it's he's fast. Listen, six innings elevation, 15 agility and 18 pace. That's probably why you know when you're young, you love the excitement of speed. But listen, strip his pace. Strip his pace. He's worse than me. I can, tame, I can name you 10 men in real life that are better than this guy when he's taken his pace away. Like I swear down, bruv. Without his pace, he is useless so against a deep line like if your like, opponent yeah is playing a deep line and he's trying to counter attack on that left hand side he's useless look at his mentals he's averaging a gray number which is 10 and below bro it's it's embarrassing and man's 29 like fam man is 10 years older than me <laughs> i can't lie it's embarrassing it really really is he's literally only there to run and dribble like i would understand if he was about what 16 17 but you're 29 bruv you need to grow the fuck up bruv i can't even lie it's embarrassing it really is bruv but yeah 10 t 10 tackling bruv oh man this guy will get absolutely fucked bruv i can't even lie man under pressure yeah it's a disaster bruv i don't care if it's 12 composure look at everything else in the mentals bruv get me off this flipping card and talking about crystal palace talking about crystal palace I see man like Patrick Vieira going over there. Watch him release him. Remember you heard it. You, remember you heard it. You heard it here first, bruv. So, all right, next got man like Daily Blind, bruv. Um, I'm looking at his stats. I'm actually genuinely contemplating why like Man United sold this guy. And then it all makes sense because obviously like movement. Like he just can't move really. Like 10 pace, 11 agility, 9 acceleration. That's why they like sold him in it. Because if he had movement... He's staying there. I swear to God. Look at his stats, bro. Like, bro, he's one of them, man. I even remember when I was doing the Ajax Savior. Like, man's just standing there and pinging the ball. Like, man's just, like, pinging. You know them little football machines that you roll it into and it just shoots it out? Man's just one of those guys just hitting the target every single time. Like, look at the pivot. 15 technique, 16 vision, and 16 passing, yeah? Man's more time hitting the target with that under pressure. 17 composure, 16 decisions, bruv. I can't even lie, yeah. Man, like, daily blind is a ball. I don't, I'm not even too sure how he was at the Euros, yeah, or if he even played at the Euros. But listen, he's just silky as fuck. I can't even lie, he's silky as fuck, bruv. Like, he's just so. I remember, I actually remember it vividly. Man had one leg up, and it was such a silky pass when he done it. It was just beautiful, man. He's, he's just a proper footballer, man, like, daily blind. Movement or not, man, 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 man. <laughs> Man makes the ball move though. That's what matters, bruv. Safe. All right, let's go, man. Like Nathan Ake, bruv. Probably living the dream. Man came from Bournemouth to win in the league in in a split second, bruv. Man's loving life right now. But anyway, for the Netherlands, I'm not too sure if he's like that guy or not. I'm not too sure. I'll be real. I mean, yeah, he's a left footed centre back. He would go with a, he fucking hell, he would go well with a right footed centre back. Like he definitely would still. And I'm talking tactics here because I don't know what other tactics that fraud of a manager was doing. But yeah, um, man's man's very good though. Like 16 pace. I mean, 16 elevation, 14 agility, and 15 pace is very good movement. Like man could definitely put probably put him out wide on a little wing back defending. As you can see, like it is already a wing back defending. Playing out from the back, 15 technique, 13 vision, and 13 passing as well is actually very good composure 14 first touch 14 so yeah under pressure he's really good i'll be real um it's just going forward don't let him go forward then just stay back and win the ball simple as and i know he can play cdm as well and i can understand why because he's got a decent pivot for center back here yeah? and he can actually win the ball like yeah he's very good still man like nathan ake very good player how old is he 25 yeah man he's got he's got a long time more than five six seven years man he's, he's very good all right let's go man like owen Wijnaldum, bruv. <laughs> I probably fucked up that name, yeah, but allow me. Listen, he's actually really good for his age, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, man's what 20, and he's already got 13 dribbling, 14 crossing, 15 flair. So he's one of them fullbacks that probably used to be wingers, but because they couldn't shoot, man got relegated to left back, bruv. That's probably what happened. Let's let's be real. But anyway, no disrespect to him. He's he's wavy at defending, though. I'll be real. Like, man really found his craft in defending because look at him. 15 tackling is actually really good. 13 test. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> 13 technique, 13 vision and 13 passing is a very good pivot, yeah. And he's got 14 pace, 13 agility and 14 acceleration under average by one in agility. But the pace and acceleration are completely fine. Now, um, overall, he's a very good player. Like He's got a bright future, providing value now and improving at the same time. He's he's a very good player. Man like um, Owen, which is not whatever, whatever the fuck his name is, yeah, he's a very good player. Next, we've got man like Jurian Timber. I've heard a lot of people saying that he's for the future. I know he's for the future. I know he is for the future. I'm looking at his stats. I can definitely see he's for the future because he's not ready right now. I know he's in the first team, but I don't think he's there right now. Maybe in real life he is. Like, let me not take that away from him. Maybe in real life he actually is ready for the first team. But in game, can't lie. Unless it's a centre-back crisis, don't promote him. Like, I'll be real. Like, he's, he's not ready in this game. But in real life he might be. I don't really know too much about this guy. If he's good, then let me know in the comments.
every team's got one you get me all of them have one and this is their version a uh, man like martin Darun is a destroyer just there to run around and kick man's shin pants that that's literally all all man's there for is to run around and kick man's legs bruv that's all he's there for just running around look at him 17 work rate 16 determination 16 aggression what 15 bravery yeah he's mentally he's already angry as fuck like look at his aggression man's just angry for no reason like man's probably gonna try and fight me after this video like fam, man's just fucking angry but listen man's got 17 tackling so more time he's running around here but he's actually getting the ball so man's probably not even kicking man's shin pads he's probably actually getting the ball and he's got good stamina as well so he's actually running around for a very long time as well so yeah um overall he's just there to just running around. i told you man already bruv i told you man already say i remember he was in the under 21s before but man had to promote him because man's definitely levels bruv man like ryan graven birch my my guy my guy, man, like Ryan Graven Birch, bruv, absolute baller. Like, for the future, definitely for the future, bruv. Um, how tall is he? Six foot three, and he can still dribble. Like, the only person I can really think of off the top of my head that's that tall and could dribble is flipping Isaac from Real Sociedad, and you already know what he's about, bruv. Like, bruv, man, like Ryan Graven Birch has got tight space ability. Like, man's good in tight space with 14 dribbling and 15 flair. But man can pick up the ball and, and drive too. Like, don't get it twisted. Man's actually... The thing he needs to improve on is strength. But man's young, so it's definitely going to happen. Man's 18 in the game. Like, fucking hell. Listen, he's, he's mad, bruv. Anyway, 15 technique, 12 vision and 14 passing. How do I explain this pivot to you guys? I used a daredevil analogy the other day. I think that was yesterday. Yeah, listen. Man that haven't got the ability to see what they're doing are flipping daredevil, bruv. Like, man have the ability, just can't see what they're doing. If you know daredevil, the Marvel character, that man that's blind, but he's, but he's got mad moves. Yeah, this is literally what these men are, bruv. Man's fucking daredevil, I swear down. But yeah, overall, bruv, he's, he's a very good player. Bright future, amazing talent, bruv. Man like Ryan Graven, but it's very good player. As much of the Liverpool fans that I've spoken to that do not rate this guy, he actually sometimes turns up for the Netherlands though. I'll be real, like for the Netherlands, he definitely turns up sometimes. Now, um, looking at the stats in real life anyway, now let me talk about real life. In real life, like he's, if for Liverpool, I know they don't, they don't really rate him too much. I'll be real, like for the people that I've spoken to anyway. But yeah, in game now, um, he's actually like very well-rounded. I'll be real, like man's got what? He can do pretty much anything in the physicals, like 14 strength, bruv, 17 balance, bruv. It's mad in the physicals. It's what well, everything is above 11. That's very good, I'll be real. And um, technically, 15, technique, 12, and now 14 pass, another daredevil thing. Man's got the ability, just can't see what he's actually flipping doing. It's mad, bruv. But yeah, 16 first touch is really good. And one thing I know about this guy is that he can actually dribble, pick up the ball, and drive, bruv. I don't know why he's on deep play and playmaker. Personally, he's either going to be a Mazzella or an advanced playmaker because I know he likes to get into the box and you can even see, bruv, like, arrives late in oppon opponent's area. He scores a lot of goals still. So, yeah, man, like, Jorginho Wijnaldum, he's, he's just a good player. PSG new signing as well. Yeah, man, I'll see. I'm very intrigued to see what ability he can bring to PSG because, like, man's playing in France now. Like, come on, man. There's no excuse now. I'll be real. So, yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what he's got, like, at PSG. All right, next woman, like, Quincy... Promes of Spartak Moscow now, flipping hell. But yeah, um, man, like Quincy Promes, I'm looking at the stats here. He's got very good pace, like good movement, all, all around good movement. Yeah, um, in tight spaces, 14 dribbling and 16 flares actually calm. It's just okay, and he's he can actually control the ball as well. Pivot is 15 technique. Can't see what he's doing with 10 vision, but 13 passing, another daredevil thing. But yeah, um. This is the thing about this guy now. Ten composure, like bruv. Um, man's what twenty eight, and and he just can't compose himself. Like that's actually embarrassing, bruv. Like how are you twenty eight years of age, yeah, and you still can't compose yourself in front of goal? Like that is absolutely shocking. I'll be real, it's shocking, bruv. And that's probably why he's at Spartak Moscow. I'll be real, it's the truth. Like whether you like it or not, yeah, that's probably the reason. Like Ajax fans, you could probably vouch for me. How many sways has this guy missed, bruv? How many easy chances has he missed? I wanted to genuinely know because, like, it must be a lot because you can't go from Ajax to Spa at Moscow for no reason, bruv. There's no way. No way, bruv. But, yeah, overall, overall, bruv, um, everything I just said, like, literally, man's just, like, um, a player that has ability but mentally is in one area. It's literally one area, bruv. That's the main thing anyway. It's a main area, but it's one area. It's composure. You need composure, bruv. You do, innit, like... For, for a winger cutting inside, you need to be composed, bruv. I'll be real. But yeah, he's got ability. Don't get out. Go. <laughs> Fuck it up. Don't get that twisted. Man's got ability. Just no composure. is shocking. So. All right, and it's got me like Steven Bergwijn. I don't know what team he plays for, mainly because they're that irrelevant. So. I remember watching a... Oh, what's it called? A documentary about the team that he plays for. I remember when... um. 
Daniel Levy um, was in the room with him, with Mourinho, I think it was. And he was like, yeah, um, big expectations, bruv. Um, I'm, I'm actually thinking, did he deliver? You man answer, did he deliver, bruv? I don't think he delivered, bruv. I think he's definitely, um, what's the word? As you can see, man's got 11 composure, 11 decisions. He's he's going to be a squad player at Tottenham still, I'll be real. He he really will be. I think he will be a squad player because, um, not going to lie, mentally, it's kind of shocking, I'll be real. But yeah, as a player now... 15 pace, 14 agility and 15 generation is good movement. 15 dribbling as well with 16 flair. That's actually very good. Man's got the ability to spin a man. As you've seen what he's done to Harry Maguire, he's spun a man, bruv. He's definitely spun a man. I've seen it with my own two eyes, but yeah. Good at controlling the ball with 14 first touch. Decent pivot with... with, with well, <laughs> oh, I can't even speak English, but listen, man's got 14, 10, 8, 5, and 12 passes, which is a good pivot, yeah. For a winger anyway. Long shots, 13, finishing 13. He's just a... Bang average Premier League winger for the Netherlands. For the Netherlands, he might be better though. Because as we all know, some men actually step up for the international countries in it. So yeah, um, man like Steven Bergwijn, yeah, he's he's uh, fucking. <laughs> all right, and it's got my like Memphis Depay, bro. Um, good player. You get me? Very good player. I know in this game, like you can sign him early because I think his contract ends. As you can see, um, it says until thirtieth of the sixth, twenty twenty one. That's just around the corner, bro. So yeah, um, I think that's even flipping today black like, jeez i'm i'm recording this video on the 30th of june 2021 and i don't know if this is like the date or not but i think it is still but yeah anyway man like memphis the pie 16 pace 14 agility and 16 acceleration is good movement like man's got mad strength as well for a winger which is very good bruv now 15 dribbling 16 first touch bruv composure's under average by one he's 26 i can't even give him an excuse for that man went to man united i don't know what happened there but man's at olympic leon now you get me um 17 flair um 16 technique 14 vision and 15 passing 15 first i mean 15 finishing as well so like in terms of end product yeah he's got mad end product like he's got a very good like silky pass yeah and then he can actually finish from close range as well. I'm not too sure about long range, but definitely close range. So yeah, you can put this guy striker. You can put this guy left wing. Um, now, um, this is the thing. This is the problem about like Memphis Depay. Yeah? His concentration is 10. And I think that's because like man makes a lot of music videos. He's not really focused on the football. I'll be real. I'll be real. Like, uh, genuine, I'm joking. No, 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 I'm joking. No. He's, he's a baller still. He's a baller. But yeah, concentration. Sometimes he's probably like too focused on like Instagram or something. But yeah, let's be real. Uh, man like Memphis Depay, yeah. Baller. And I'm talking like on the pitch, like man's probably got his phone in his pocket and shit. Like that's what I'm talking about. Like I don't care about the personal life. But yeah, overall, man like Memphis Depay, he's got ability. Let's be real. Like he's got ability still. I, I'll give him that, bro. He's got mad ability. So, I know a lot of you, man, from the Netherlands, yeah, are mad that this guy beat three man and ran into the goalkeeper, yeah. But listen, allow the guy, he's 21, in it. Like man's gonna make these mistakes, but you'll be thanking him in about five years, trust me, because this guy, he's got mad potential still. Now let's see what team he came from and who wasted his talent. Oh, let's see who's that in, in red over there. Arsenal, I see. Yeah, definitely Arsenal. It has to be Arsenal. It, it always has to be Arsenal to get rid of talent. Listen, if you're a team, you see Arsenal release someone, buy them immediately because they're the next Messi, I swear. Anyway, anyway, man, like, um, Daniel Marlin, yeah. Listen, man's, man's a baller still. Like, man's a striker, yeah. Like, forget this whole left wing thing. Man's a striker, innit? Listen, 16 pace, 16 agility, and 16 generation. Man's definitely getting in behind, yeah. 14 off the ball. 14 composure, 14 finishing, bruv. The dribbling will definitely go up naturally anyway. Man's just a flipping advance forward, isn't it? Like, it's either an advance forward or personally for me, a poacher, because to be an advance forward, you need your dribbling to be minimum 14. And an advance forward, your pivot needs to be at least minimum 11 all round. And obviously, man's doing a daredevil thing where he can't really see what he's doing. But he's got the mad skill moves, though. But listen, um, I mean, mad ability in terms of passing. But yeah, no, 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 no. He has, yeah. Oh, my God. He has, he, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He can't even flip him pass ball. Listen, he's a poacher, bruv. I can't lie. Man is a poacher. Listen, listen. Just get goals, bruv. For now, like, if that's what your main goal is, just get goals because he's got the ability to get in behind. Against the deep line, he can still move around with 14 off the ball. And from close range, he can control the ball and finish it off. So, yeah, make him a um, poacher. Please do that, bruv. And, and you'll thank me later. Watch him real life. Yeah, remember what you, man... Remember what I said, didn't it? Like, man's going to record this again when he actually fires, bruv. And you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, man, man like Donya Marlin, I saw he's already got, like, 50 goals for, like, PSG. PSV already like he probably does I, I don't even know if he does but yeah um, he's a really good player though man like Daniel Marlin really good player so, alright next we've got man like Cody Gakpo now um, he is a left wing striker or right winger um, he's right footed 14 pace 16 agility and 15 acceleration which is actually really good movement like it's really good He's actually very good on the ball as well. 15 dribbling, 15 first touch, flair 12. So he's actually unpredictable. 
everything in the mentals is really, really bad. I can't lie. The highest thing is determination, which is 13. Who cares, bro? Listen, I couldn't I couldn't care less if you're determined and your composure is 11. I, I really couldn't care because that's the recipe for disaster, bro. I'll be real. Like, what's his flipping um concentration? Nine. Like, he just does not give a shit. I'll be real. He just looks like he just doesn't care mentally. Like, I'll be real. He's te 10 bravery man scared of something. Like, you're six foot two, you scared of, bruv? Like, it's shocking. It's really shocking, bruv. I'll be real. But yeah, um, overall, he's just looking like he's that guy that's going to cut inside and bang it from far. Because when I read you the stats, you'll understand he's fast, he can dribble, and he can't flare. He's not. He's got no flare. So he's good in tight spaces. He's just not predict. I mean, he's very predictable. So you're going to actually struggle to get the ball of him, even if you know what, you, like, what way he's going. Yeah, but listen, man's just going to cut inside and bang it because he's got 11 finishing, but 14 long shots. So yeah, he's just that kind of guy. Man's just going to cut inside. And bang it from far. Safe man like Cody Gakpo. He needs to improve mentally because right now it's shocking. I'll be real. And lastly, we've got my boy. Man like Wild Wet Coast, yeah. Absolute baller, innit? Like, he's good. I, I'm not too sure what he's done at the Euros. I'll be real. But listen, listen, listen. For um, Wolfsburg, he's he's a madness, innit? Like, you man are going to really respect his name if you don't already. You respect his name, trust me. Now, um... Man's a, man's a target, man. One, one thing that I don't really see with a lot of them is finishing ability on the ground. This guy on the ground has got finishing ability of 16, which is really, really good. It's actually the same as his head, which I was expecting to be mad anyway. Because man is a striker and he's six foot six, bruv. Like man's six foot six with 18 jump and reach. Do you really think these modern day ball playing defenders want to jump with this guy in the air? I don't think you understand, yeah. Jumping with a man like that and getting embarrassed is absolutely humiliating on live TV. I'll be real, like, that's going to get fucking clipped up or something. Like, man's just going to get absolutely eaten in the air. Like, he will eat them, bruv. He will, man's just eating man, bruv. Eating man, bruv. But yeah, overall, 11 technical ability is absolutely shocking. I'm not even going to lie. That is really, really bad, yeah. Nine dribbling in tight spaces. He is useless, but that's not his game. Man's there to body any defender that thinks they are like the shit. Man's going to show them who really is the shit. Like there's always a bad man on every corner, yeah. This guy is that flipping bad man on that corner, bruv. He is. Like man's just there to bully centre backs. He's a centre fam. You see like how Iron Man, yeah, created a whole suit for the Hulk, bruv. This is what this guy's done for the centre backs. Like just, he's just a centre back destroyer. Like he's just going to abuse centre backs. That's what he's there for, man. Like wow, wait, course. Specimen, bruv. Like man, man's an alien. Can't even, I know I'm going crazy right now, but listen. Man, man's a fucking alien, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't even give a fuck, bro. Man's an alien. Look at his strength, bro. Man, man's just there to just eat man alive. I can't even lie. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna ruin man. You know, I'm not even gonna lie. He's really there to really, really ruin man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, man, are really gonna get bodied the fuck out. Like, you see the way my keyboard is that like, smashing, yeah. Man, are gonna get smashed, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's, it's really, really peak. I'll be real, but yeah, man, like what way cost, yeah. Baller, like man, man's just a mad baller, innit? Like, I know I've spoken a lot on this guy, but that just shows you the the um, what's what's the word like the the magnitude <laughs> of of his of his ability of what he does. Like he's just a proper striker, innit? Like an old school target man that you would put like next to a false stand. So like, he's just mad, innit? Man, like white way course, very good player. That did not take me long at all. That's probably the quickest I've ever lined up a team ever because it was just so easy. Like, bruv, man would win the Euros with this team, you know. I'm not going to lie. I'm joking. No, no, no. I can't lie. Um, I'm looking at this team. It's much better than what I saw at the beginning. I'll be real because like, I didn't line them up. That's the reason. But yeah, listen, from goal, we've got um, flipping crew. Like, obviously, man's going to try and get like Silicon or something, like another Dutch goalkeeper because obviously, I don't really trust man that play for no. I'll be real. No disrespect to Norwich, but I don't really trust, man. I'll be real, but yeah, I'm right back. Dumfries on a little charging train thing, yeah? Centre-back, blind, like, on the ball playing the defender. I'm doing it, bruv. I'm putting him centre-back still. I'll really do it, yeah? And then the fridge next to him, just to cover him up for when he gets absolutely buddied. Like, what's his strength quickly? It's 12, so yeah, man's definitely vulnerable. I'll be real, so yeah, we've got the fridge for that little protection, yeah? And then on his left, we've got man like Wijnidiel, bruv. Like, it's, 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 I don't know how to say his name here, but um, he's a baller on that left-hand side still. He really is now. Um, the playing playmaker, I'm putting De Jong there. I'm really doing it because I believe, yeah, under pressure, he's just mad. He can dribble his way. He doesn't even have to be... Comp okay, he really does, but yeah. He can really dribble his way through, like, a tight situation. Like, literally, madness. But anyway, Mazala with Wijnaldum, yeah. Man gets goals, so I'm probably, probably going to put him on attack, yeah. I really would, yeah. And then, um, this is one thing I don't think I saw, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, I think I saw Wijnaldum playing Cam. I can't understand what that flipping fraud was doing. But listen, inverted winger on support Depay. Cam, Graven Birch. Yeah, I know you men are laughing. Listen, I don't care. Listen, he's a Cam. I don't, I don't care. He's a Cam. Like, man's putting him Cam's to attack a midfielder on attack. And then straight line right winger, 
simplify his shock in mental game, man like Bergwijn. And then up front, give service to man like Workhorse, please. And you've got yourself a really decent team, I'll be real. Now, after lining up the team, it looks a lot better than it did when I first initially saw the squad, I'll be real. So if you got it this far, respect to you, I'll be real, because like, I didn't really expect it, but I've got a decent team out of this. I don't, I'm not really sure how man lost to flipping Czech Republic, bruv. Like, man lost to flipping Czech Republic. Like, man's got flipping Patrick Schick and, and a couple other men, and apart from that, they don't even have pair Czech no more. They don't even have pair Czech no more, it's shocking. But yeah, overall, man like Netherlands, bruv, um... That's that's a decent team when I'm looking at it now. Um, obviously you got Marlin in flipping um on the bench coming off the bench like it's a good team. So yeah, um overall if you like that video, like that video. Shout out Free Donny. Shout out Faran. You get me the the Dutchman. You get me. So yeah, if you like that video, like that video. Subscribe to the content. You know what to expect from me, and I'll see you in my next episode. Bro.